everyone and welcome back to my palette countdown of the year series. In this series I count down my top five palettes that I purchased this year. Not all of these palettes may have come out this year, I'm honestly not sure when some of these were released, especially the one that I'll be using today. I'm sure you've seen it in the thumbnail, but fourth place goes to my Magic Mini palette by Juvia's Place. And this is one of my all-time favorite Juvia's Place palettes. I do have another one that will be in the top three, so this is my second favorite Juvia's Place palette. If you don't know what this looks like, you must have been living under a rock because this is a beautiful palette and I cannot wait to play with this again. I have made a 3 looks one palette with this. I think I did a first impression of this. I could be wrong, but I definitely did a 3 looks one palette. It is kind of old though, but if you want to check it out, it will be up in the cards. I need a little bit of wine because it's late at night and I don't know why I'm filming right now, but I am, so here we are. So let's start off by priming my eyes, and I will not be using my MAC Paint Pot today because I've said this in previous videos, but I'm running so low on this that I have to decide if I want to repurchase this or not, and right now I'm kind of not sure if I do because the one complaint that I have about the, especially the shade that I have in my MAC Paint Pot is that my shadows tend to look a bit darker than they do if I use them on, say, my P. Louise base, and I think it's because of the undertone in the MAC Paint Pot that maybe I don't have the right shade, so the primer that I'll be trying out today is the Milani eyeshadow primer. I've heard Polina say so many good things about this. If you don't know who Polina Beauty is, I will link her up in the card. She is amazing. I love her so much. She was the first person on YouTube who actually reached out to me to do a collab when I had like a hundred subscribers and she is just such a great person. So if you guys aren't already subscribed to her, please jump on over to her channel and say hello because she is just amazing. So I'm going to just apply, I don't know how much I need of this, it doesn't seem to really have any coverage, but I'm just going to put this all over my eyelids pretty much. I definitely feel like this is one that you could apply with your finger if you wanted to and it's probably best to tap over it with a finger afterwards anyway just because it's very slippery and I don't think you want to have too much product on here. I'm not sure. I feel like I need to give this a chance to dry down a little bit before I go in with the shadows. So since I don't really know what I want to do today, oh my god, shocking, and that doesn't know what she wants to do, I never do. So I'm actually going to start backwards and I'm gonna do my lower lash line first just because all I know is I want to put Buzo which is just beautiful shimmery green shade. I just know I want to have this on my lower lash line so I feel like if I put that down maybe the inspiration will come afterwards when I can kind of see what this looks like and what I feel like will go good with it so let's try that. So I'm taking my Sephora smudging brush and I'm really just going to, wow that is so pretty, smudge this onto my lower lash line. And I'm not usually one to put shimmers on my lower lash line, so this is kind of something that I want to experiment with because I've seen a lot of people do it recently, and it just looks so pretty. So it seems like the primer has definitely dried out. It doesn't really feel tacky at all, but it feels like it's very slippery. It kind of feels like the Urban Decay primer a little bit, so I'm interested to see how this is going to work. I kind of wish I put down my Mac paint pot on one eye so we can compare it, but oh well. So I'm kind of feeling like a halo eye today, so I'm first going to start off by taking the shade down here that I cannot pronounce. I will put the name up on the screen just so I don't make a fool out of myself. And I'm going to place this in the outer corner of my eye as well as my inner corner. And this blue is just so stunning. I'm kind of thinking I might go in with a red in my crease to blend this out afterwards. That'll kind of create a bit of a purple. I think that could look kind of cool. And then maybe put a gold in the middle of my eyelid. Maybe something like that. So I don't want to pull the shade up too high. Like I said, I do want to go in with possibly the red, maybe the orange, probably the red, because red mixes a lot better with blue than orange does. So I'm keeping this pretty low, but still high enough that I can see it above my eyelid when I open my eyes. And I'm going to do the same thing in my inner corner. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of a stripe in the middle here. So I'm not sure if you've noticed lately with my halo eyes, I used to always connect the darkest shadow in the middle here, but lately I've kind of left it open and I sort of like it that way because I feel like it gives more room for the brightest shade so that when my eye is open, I might actually be able to get a little peek of the lightest shade that I have on the eyelid since my eye is so hooded that when I look straight ahead, usually the halo eye will just get swallowed by my eyelid. So I've been kind of toying around with that lately and I kind of like it. So I'm going to try it again today and see how it goes. And so far I like this primer. 
I'm also not going to wing this out today like I have been doing a lot lately because I feel like with halo eyes it looks a lot better if the shape is just round than if you like elongate it and then it looks a bit weird when you have a giant dot in the middle of your eye. I don't know if that's just me but I definitely feel like it's more flattering at least for my eye shape. And just while the thought is still here, I actually posted on my community page a few days ago if you guys had any questions for me for a Q&A. Because I was, I was going to do a Q&A before I posted my, my story video. If you have not seen that, I will link that up in the cards. It's a bit sappy though, just so you know what to expect when going into it. But basically I didn't end up doing a Q&A because all the questions that I got were like very much about my life and what I've been through and stuff. So I decided to just make it into like a my story video. But if you have any funny questions or just random things that you want to know about me, Please leave them down below so that I can do a Q&A video in December. I think that would be kind of cool. So any questions you have, just leave them down below. You know how it goes. So next I'm going to dip into Koji or Kogi. It's probably Koji. It's got to be Koji, right? So I'm going to dip into that and I'm going to use that just right on top of where I put down the blue to blend this out. And I'm going to try to place this above the blue so that these don't mix too much. But I'm fully expecting there to be a purple line in between where the red and the blue is. And I'm also wiping off my brush before I go in in the middle part because I don't want there to be any more blue on my brush. And I did happen to get a little bit of blue up here in my crease, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull a little bit more of that blue and sort of connect them up top here just to even out that color and kind of make a purple gradient. And I'm having a little bit of a hard time just blending these two colors together. I don't know if it's the primer or if I just didn't blend out the blue enough before going in with the red slash pink because it's definitely showing up way more pink on my eye, but it's okay. So I'm not completely happy with the blend here between the blue and the pink, but I think it's gonna have to do for now. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of pink again and just try to work on blending out the upper edges here. And I may or may not pull the shade up a little bit too high because I'm going into my brow, but oh well, that's okay. I feel like that happens with every look I do. So I think what I want to do next is I want to go in with Nubia, which is the gold shade up here. And this gold is so pretty, you guys. I'm not gonna cut my crease or anything. I'm just gonna go straight in with the shimmer and I'm using my flat brush from Olimar. And oh my God, I did not even spray my brush. This is so beautiful. Juvia's Place just melts my heart. I don't know what else to say. I swear, every time I use Juvia's Place, I'm just kind of speechless. So I'm placing this in the middle of my eye. I'm also kind of pulling it up and into the pink that I have in my crease because I do kind of want a little bit of shimmer up there. But I'm focusing most of the pigment in the middle of my eye. And I feel like I've used a lot of gold in my halo eyes lately. Sorry, not sorry though, because I really like gold. Especially very yellow golds like this. I think they're so pretty. That is so beautiful. So I'm next gonna go back in with that green shade and just kind of perfect the lower lash line. And I'm using my MAC 228S brush. It's just a very small kind of flat brush, but it's also very soft and fluffy at the same time. And I find this really good to sort of blend out shimmers. And I know I mentioned this brush in my favorite eyeshadow brushes video that I posted the day before this is going up. So let me know if you like that video because I feel like that one came up pretty good and it was pretty informative, but I mean, it's really tough to make an eye brush video entertaining. So, <laughs> I mean, I tried my best and I know I didn't really feature this brush at all. So I figured I would use it today because I really, really like this brush. And so when I get to the outer edge here, I kind of just tap over where the blue meets so that I can mix the shimmer into the blue matte without it being too overpowering. So I think this will be it for shadows on my waterline. I'm of course going to use Teaspoon by Colourpop because I am obsessed with this liner and I just think that it's one of the best green liners out there at the moment that I've tried anyway. And boy, if there is ever a time for green mascara, it would be right now. I would love to have a mini green mascara. That would be so amazing. So obviously we can't go with that glitter because 31 days of glitter, you know, I'm kind of struggling to come up with new glitter combinations because I honestly don't have that many. So I'm gonna of course use my Steel Glitter and Glow and this is in the shade Beauty Junkie, which is sort of like a, how do I explain this? Corally pink, something like that. And I hope that this is going to go with the look, but there's only one way to find out. I'm not going to put a lot. I'm just gonna put a little bit right into my inner corner here. I think that's kind of pretty. 
I obviously could have played it safe and just gone with like a goal, but I figured I would try something different. All right, I'm thinking I'm gonna call this good and I'm going to go put on some lighter and mascara, of course, and I will be right back. So for my lipstick today, I'm actually going to use one of the ColourPop lippy sticks. Honestly, don't remember where or when I got this, but it is in the shade New Rules and it says it's a matte. I thought all of these were mattes. I could be wrong though. Wow, that is so pretty. This is like a dark berry color and I think it's gorgeous. This is such a pretty color. I'm not sure exactly how good it goes with the eye look, but I like it and I'm gonna keep it on. So that was the look with number four spot in my palette countdown. I would like to know down below which ones you think are going to be in my top three because my top three choices were actually pretty easy. It was the number four and five spot that I struggled the most with because I had a lot of palettes that could have been in the top five that didn't quite make it and these ones were the ones that made it that I wasn't sure if were gonna make it but the top three were kind of a lock for me so let me know down below if you know which ones they are and which one you think is going to be next i hope you're enjoying the series and that you are enjoying my 31 days of glitter thank you so much for watching as always if you're new to my channel i would love it if you would consider subscribing and i will see you all in tomorrow's video bye